Hi, my name is David Ackland. I'm an Apple IT consultant based in London. If you want to reach out with any questions or comments, you can add them below this video at the Mac Admin Slack channel or Twitter using the handle at David Ackland. In this video, I'll show you the method I use to map network drives on Macs using the popular device management system, Jamf Pro. Although this example is based on one particular product, the script I'm using is portable and can be triggered using most device management systems out there. In this quick video, we'll show you how to add the script to Jamf Pro and configure it for use in a policy. So first off, let's log into the Jamf Pro system and then we'll head over to Computers, Management Settings, and then Script. So the script we host on our public GitHub repository, and you can go into Public Scripts and Share Connect to access both versions. As you can see, the two versions available, we have Share Connect, which is just a generic script, and then a specialized Casper version. There's two main differences between these. First of all, Share Connect uses the default variables $1, $2, $3, to, um, $4 to run. And Casper, the first three are actually reserved by the system. So we start at $4 through to $5 and $6 for the protocol, server name, and share name. The second difference uh, between the two, Share Connect has the ability to uh, filter based on group membership typically used with Active Directory. Casper has this functionality built in natively, so we don't need to include that in that version of the script. So click on the Share Connect Casper script, click on Raw, and then we'll copy the contents of the script. Next, we'll head back over to the Jamf Pro system. Give the script a name, then click on script and just paste in the contents. Now we don't need to change the contents of this script at all, it's completely generic and all the variables are passed to it from the policy. Now as an optional extra we can set parameter labels. This isn't required but it will make it a lot easier when you're adding the script to the policy. If, you're, haven't come, if you haven't come across these before, Parameter labels uh, or parameters are variables passed to the script uh, when you're running it. So if you're running this in the terminal, as you can see here, we've got the name of the script, then three values after that. Uh, these can be stored in the script as $1, $2, $3 respectively. When you're adding a script in Jamf Pro, um, they give these default uh, names, just parameter four, parameter five, parameter six, and so on. So parameter four would be stored in the script as dollar four, parameter five, five would be dollar five, and so on. Now it's possible for you to give these custom labels. When you give them custom labels, and you use the script in a policy, these custom labels will show up, making it a lot easier to know which, which values you're supposed to put in which fields. So we'll go ahead and put in some custom labels. First of all, just the protocol, which in this case is mapping drive, so it's AFP or SMB. Let's just check back on the script. So parameter five is gonna be the server name, and this can be the IP address or fully qualified domain name. And then lastly, parameter six, uh, which is the share name. These are case sensitive, so just to give us a little reminder, I'll put in case sensitive in brackets. So the final steps to make a policy. So I'll head over to computers, then policies, and then click new. We'll give it a name, so map network drive dot dot dot. As this is mapping a network drive, we'll run it at login. And we'll set its run ongoing so that each time a user logs in, it will map the drive. Next, we'll head over to scripts, click configure, and add the script. 
and you can see that our parameter labels get pulled across. So we can now just put in the values and it makes it a lot easier for someone to, to use. So once you've got it all set up, all that's left to do is to scope it to the computer that you want to run. And just remember, there's, there's two parts to this. You can scope to computers specifically, or computer groups. But also, as I mentioned earlier, Jamf Pro has the ability to filter based on group membership. So you can use the limitations tab to filter based on Active Directory group membership. Now the great thing about this script and system is that the script is completely generic. So we've added the script once, but we can reuse it using the variables as many times as we like in different policies to map different network drives. So thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. And if you want to get any more technical pieces of information, just head over to the blog on the AMSYS website.